I was when you were waiting to go on. I heard you talking. Just you, just you're just a pair of all great news. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot! Well, hey, hey, uh, Scott, did that commercial file work for you? Yes, it did. Well, I had to send it to uh, uh, Jason. He changed it to an MP4. I can't for some reason. Yeah. I I can't uh, W or or or, or VM or. WMV files do not work with uh, uh, with Mac. It doesn't work with QuickTime. Player mm. Joseph, um, um, but uh, but and I can't figure out which converter to download. I'm so paranoid about downloading anything that uh, so I just sent it to him and he sent it back to me in a couple minutes. He had a he had a pretty interesting day, so he uh, he lost all of his stuff last night when the electricity went off. So he had to redo everything from scratch. Today he just got me the last reveal. Uh, commercial uh, about five minutes before uh, popped on. So. Well, I've been there. That sucks. <laughs> um. But uh, so check this out. Oh, first of all, so now I need to know if, if we can be heard because I got people. I got comments. Yes, we can. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, well, that kind of kills that whole. <laughs> okay. Well. Hmm. Having said that, uh, okay. Well, it feels weird to be in my pajamas right now. You know what? I, <laughs> what, I guess it's okay to hear us talk when Frank uh, Frank popped in, and uh, I didn't have pants on yet. I was doing like a, a George Costanza, not George Costanza. Who's the Who's his dad? But Frank. Hey, Frank. Frank, yeah, Frank is stands up. Frank, so yep, yep. Got today from uh, speaking of Frank. I, I was, I was watching a, um, was watching a commercial from the '70s with him in it, and my wife's like, "Oh, he always looked like that," you know, like the, that's the best <laughs> looking he got. And I was like, "Yeah, he, he's always looked the same." Did you see? Yeah, him? he's one. Yep, yep. You know his uh, uh who's a what's what was her name that played uh, his wife? Uh, I don't remember what her name was, but she she used to be an All in the Family or an Archie Bunker's play. She was like a regular in the bar. You know, she was she was young. Oh no, no, I, yeah, I, that, I I haven't seen that show since it aired. Yeah, um, she, well, she I mean, she looked the same. You know, really. We know, Rob. We but know. Did, <laughs> did Did you watch Gloria, the spinoff of All in the Family? You know what? I didn't. But see, that was something. I, was, was I did. Moms was my mom's thing through all their shows. I've seen. Every episode of Trapper John. I mean, I used to look forward to it. Like Trapper John used to be a good John. Yeah. Every episode of uh, of Alice, you know. I like oh, yeah. I like the the first theme song better when she was when she was cutting loose a little bit when Linda Avenue. So yeah, right. Quincy, big Quincy fan, you know. Oh yeah, well who wouldn't be? Yeah, right. I mean, just I for the sake of alone. Kid, though. You know, it's just like, what did you watch last night? So okay, now we have Paul. Okay, so we have Paul. All right, so Paul is going to be in here. So the first part, shoot. Yeah, right. uh, <coughs> you might want to. My phone right. What's happening? Okay. Hey. Okay, my the ambassador moderator was calling my phone. All right. Well, Mine too. hey, John. Mine too. Oh. So who could that be? If we're all here. It's Joel. No, it's, it's not. Joel. Why is it? It's Joel. Go. Uh, go on to the okay. 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 Joel, I think Joel called the wrong thing. So, all right. So we got to bring Paul in, and because uh, I got I got Paul on the outskirts. Hey, Kevin. For Kevin. Please, someone answer that damn phone. <laughs> yeah. hey, so look so you know everybody can hear us out in tv or out in the facebook land right so we still got five minutes to count. yes i got paul waiting uh in the uh, green room could somebody please tell paul or kevin do you want to step out for a minute let me tell let me bring paul on and i'll tell paul what's up i can't hear you anyway oh kevin's muted himself all right so let's bring paul in and paul I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go into uh, our Toy Ventures advert. We're going to skip the uh, 
the countdown. Oh, God. I got the first, I got your first commercial. now live and we've got paul coming in we've got kevin in the green room we've got uh surprises you know marty and joel will be joining us later on tonight we've got some giveaways and yes. right now we got uh mr andrew kovalt sculptor we got brian heiler from the right. Zam toy ventures and overall good guy we got frank wojo from retro uh uh, 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 uh retro <laughs> jesus i can't believe i didn't get that right and We've got Mr. Paul Clark. Hey, Paul. Oh. Hey, what's up? What are you doing? Oh. I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what, you'd be my best friend if you turn your phone sideways. Yeah. I'll see what I can do. That's perfect. Why? Yeah. Why is well, your it is, it is sideways, but it's not doing that flip thing. That's so weird. Yeah. <laughs> That is so Listen, the only way this works is when kids, you know, my kids handle this, you know, right? Uh, I'm technically uh, averse. All right, so let's see. Do you need to have your little thing checked off so your uh, screen? What's that? You know, like your little, you, you should have that little little box where when you turn your phone, like if you're going to watch a video, you turn your phone and it, and it goes to wide screen format. It should be a little. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how that stuff works either. <laughs> you know, I got I got a thirteen year old that takes my phone, does everything, gets it back. It's this. And when you get it back, it doesn't. It's nothing, nothing's, nothing's the same, right? I, uh -oh. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I'll just. Yeah, right. Where'd so, you go? It, yeah. uh, uh, it must. That must. That's the other button, Paul. Uh yeah. I'll tell you. You know, <laughs> old men aren't supposed to be doing this stuff. I... <laughs> Is this in settings or something? They gave me an iPhone, and I still have no concept. Oh, okay, so it's right here. So you see the little lock? Okay, well. No, I don't see anything. Okay, you should have a little icon a lock? of a padlock, and if it is red, that means uh, your portrait orientation lock is off. I mean, on. So you want to click it. Settings? Off. No, it should be right. Well, it should be right on your screen where you have. Uh, <laughs> all right don't worry I'll, I'll work i'll figure it out well you're looking great can i just tell you i love what yeah. you did yeah. <laughs> uh, i'm just laughing with you um <laughs> <laughs> it's okay you can laugh at me i have no problem yeah, yeah. Uh, what we've all been no, no, it's, it's cool it's oh yeah gen x well well so check this out the good news is we become the old guys we don't there you, there, go. You, there you go now that you're here we don't really need to see because we're actually uh Slideshow. I got a slideshow of of uh, everything that was that's going to be released. That's not that hasn't been distributed yet. So, oh, cool. I, I actually am kind of in the dark. I I've been kind of out of it. So I want to see this. I probably missed yeah. something. Okay. So so what we're gonna do is I have it set up to where we're gonna look at the front and the back of the cards. There are no particular order, and we're we're gonna stop before we get to the DC. That will be the review. Mm -hmm. Jason did something special. I got Jason's in the green room. He will be joining us later as we. Okay switch out so we've got and just just so everybody knows that's that's uh that's watching on facebook i can see your comments 
for those of you uh, that signed into that uh, that little extra app link, that's that's awesome. We are doing a contest. Um, yep. We uh, it, you just pay attention and and you'll get it. And it's it's a real unique giveaway. It so you know you'll see when that happens. So without further ado, we're gonna go to the slideshow. Remember, I have one job is to mute and unmute. And here we go. Now, we should be able to see the cards. Everybody can see them? Yes. Yep. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to pause it here. I know we just only go back a little bit. I'm sorry I don't have it in a better format, but... I like that JS photo on the back. A lot. I, you know what? Yeah, and, I knew this, really cool. and I knew that you were going to. I know this is... Paul, is this standard... Uh, um, what do they call that, Brian? Um, well, that's, that's definitely um, style guide artwork right. from... From the okay. late '90s, actually, from yeah, it was actually I guess, a, a DVD set. I think that came out with that one. Use that. Yeah, too, VH, it? Actually, yeah. it was VHS and DVD. Okay. okay. Um, but it, that was definitely like around the late '90s. I remember those. Um, I always kind of was fond of that artwork, so it's a good choice. Yeah. Same here. And then, as you can see uh, on the back, we've got uh, what's that? Sean sculpted it as, but I think these are. Here's Cornelius Cole. Sure. Yeah. Everybody pay attention. To I do I do like the paint details too. Um that you guys kind of like enhance them. Yeah, the head um, looks sharp. That, sure. That gives me pause. But why is why are Cornelius's hands uh dark? What was the um what was the uh mindset there? Paul. Paul Paul has muted himself. Ah. <laughs> Paul, you've muted. I, your... I thought maybe I had like said something out of turn. No, uh, <laughs> and now Paul has muted. created a scandal. He's he's actually there. He is. Well, let's make stuff up then. Well, um, I, hold on. I, were, I know. Just came back, so let me doing that. Set them apart from the originals. Okay, Paul just came back. Paul, can you not? Okay, guest is guest is in the green room. Okay, why? Hey, Paul. Paul, <laughs> Paul, you're not in the green room, Paul. All right, hold on. Did you notice the Zayas, Brian? It's got the orange. It's got the orange hands too. Oh no, I hadn't actually. Uh, I just like this is the first time I've seen a decent photo of either of these. Um, Are I've you been kind of out of the loop. To the Zayas? It's, it's it's fine. I'll, I'll look at it later. Okay. But so they've they've done something with the hands, and I, I'm not. Um, oh, I think I might know why they did that. Um, but I'll wait for Paul to answer. Well, I'm trying to get certainly Paul not a deal breaker for me. I think they look really good. Um, I'm yeah. not one for reproductions of figures I already own. That's just a personal thing. But right. uh, what bo what bugs me about these is they've done such a nice job on the paint apps. Yes. That it's like, huh, I kind of like that. Um, Okay, well, I'll tell you what, since since it's going to take Walt, Walt, take Paul a minute to catch up, let's go to the next card. Okay. Oh, this is back of Cornelius. He does not look pleased. Oh, <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> and then, here's, here's Apollo Creed. Okay. I, I'm really happy to see the Willy Wonka hat recycled for this. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's really great. And... Uh... I also, I, I've told you guys this, but we need more people of color amigos just for customs. And uh, I love this head. I'm going to use this head for other things. Yeah, I think, I, I think. Great character choice, too. I mean, he's, you know. Yeah, he's Carl he Weathers. Did. Yeah, exactly. The Carl Weathers. <laughs> yeah. I, I love him in Arrested Development. And exactly. Yep. Arian, yeah. So he's, he's fabulous. He is Mandalorian now too. Yep. Oh yeah, that's right. Yep. That's right. All right, let's get it get it going. Sorry, here. guys, I got to turn off my Facebook here. Our next one is Son of Frankenstein. There you go. First oh, look. I have not seen this. So he's got his little fuzzy vest. That's awesome. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he's cool. He's really cool. He's got his little card. And, and I like the I like the black and white card. Um, yeah, it's that's neat, that's isn't clever. it? Clever. Yeah, because then he pops right off of it. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's 
And again, I wish I had this in a in a in a slideshow uh, format. All right, what well, we got? Uh, and again, okay. So this is the back of the card. I think that might be similar to the other design card. Here's the blocked fly. Got you. There for a minute. I fun to say. Blocked. Yeah, it is. Say it three or four times. All right. What the fuck? Right. Exactly. It's Blocked. hard. It's hard to differentiate that from the photo, but I bet that's kind of fun. Close up. Um, yeah, I bet it is. Actually, I think I think later on in this slide, I'm gonna have that is close up. Oh, and there's okay. And Stan Lee. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. Uh, he's got his yellow. Sword. Stan Stan seems to have really sold really well. Like I know we do stuff through Entertainment Earth, but I couldn't believe how many Stan Lees people bought. Yeah, he he did really really well uh, for me as well, Brian. I mean, just yeah. all around, it sold very well. Still demand for the first one too. So this one's going to do. Okay, I think this thing, one. Eh? Well. Yeah. I like this one's outfit a little better. A little color. Yeah, I was the same thing. I kind of didn't realize yeah. it had a different uh, outfit. It's cool. Mm -hmm. Like sweater. I Still said, lobbying for sweaters. 70s, Stan, you know? Um, oh, yeah, right. Uh, uh, me too. Yeah. You got to right. definitely a vote for me too. So we'll take a back of the card. Look, I don't I don't know if that's the same or not. We go to one other card, it's the Salt Empire. You ah, got to look at that. I like that character. Uh, real quick, we're going to switch to a commercial here. Brian has a second uh, advert for Toy Ventures, and I want to show that You're to very kind. you guys now. Nice. Now we're back to the slideshow. Nobody gets the mute. Nobody has picked up where I stole that music from. I, have uh, I was surprised. It's, it's, um, I'm not going to say I want someone to tell me, but, um, I just it thought somebody would have caught familiar. that by now. Yeah. <laughs> I can't place it. It's, it it's, very familiar. I, I will say it's from a, a Fulci film. That's all I'll say. But, uh, yeah, that is Captain Zargon. And, um, the first article is uh, by there's some there's a lot of Mego content in this issue, nice. but um, the first Very article cool. is by Analog Toys is Tony Roberts and it's awesome. Nice. Very cool. So I'm just playing I, uh, with the slideshow. Joe wanted to point out because he is on standby that uh, that this web is web hands, sweater hands, right? Yeah, exactly. And Paul, I know you're on standby. I want you to check this out. For some reason, while the side show is playing, I cannot. You're in the green room. I can see you. And but it just won't let me add you, and I don't know why that is. Maybe if uh, you guys wouldn't mind if I get a little unprofessional here, I'm gonna switch back over to interview mode so I can bring Paul back in, and then we're gonna go back to the slideshow. So okay, back yeah, to that work. Back to interview. Again, back to interview. There we go, Paul. There you are. Hey. Okay. Yeah, that's one of us. Okay. Okay. Right. Great. Great. Okay. Uh, don't, okay. Please don't move. I mean, you can move physically, but don't. <clears throat> okay, because okay. now. He's freezing. No matter how you put, no matter how you put it, I'm, I'm getting dizzy. Down. Yeah. There <laughs> <laughs> you go. Andrew. Yeah. I think you know what? Just just for for all in, intents and purposes, we will let this remain as it is. The last time we did that, we didn't see you for 25 minutes. Not your fault, yeah, well, but we figured out that the slideshow. <laughs> uh, hey, Eddie. Didn't, yes. Uh, he's getting support. Uh oh. He's there you go. For you. Sorry. This <laughs> Chuck wants to know if you're on a boat, Paul. Nope. <laughs> no, I'm in the basement. I'm in my garage. He's uh, he's using his old Star Trek. You, you know, uh, you know. How do I get it to to turn? 
So when you look at a video, you can turn it sideways. So I get the full camera. Yeah. So I get the full camera. Eddie, Eddie can do it. Yeah, he, yeah, that's what drives me nuts. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah, I see. Okay, thank you, son. Okay. Thank you very much. That was the lovely and talented Eddie Clark. All right. There you go. All right. All right, see, in two seconds he points it out. Okay, well, you're still where you were, so. Really? How about now? Ah! Hey. So now we're going to go back to the slide. Okay. So we can get through this. Hold on, everybody. Hold on. And then um, we have to, uh, I got to, I got to bring um, Mr. Fury is actually, when he comes on, we'll do that in a minute. So back to the slideshow. And we're So Brian wanted to know why Cornelius has dark hands, Paul. You can be heard now. Well, that's that's uh, because just bark it out. <laughs> the face, the face is tan. Migo did the whole body like the face, but actually, it should have been the whole body should have been the color of the hair, since apes are covered with hair. Did anybody hear that? Yes. Yes. Okay. So am I? Am I being okay? So I am a hero. Okay. So, um, yeah. I mean, you know, we we tried it. It's a different. It, it differentiates it from what has come before. Right. So it stands out a little. Uh, if people don't like it, the next time we do some, we'll go back to the tan body. You know. Well, that makes perfect is, sense. Uh, yeah, it does. Yeah, I mean, the, the whole point is we're not trying to make exact copies. Right. And since everybody already has all the old apes, mm -hmm. most of us do, we thought this would look different. <laughs> um, Excellent. You know, maybe, the two, you know, maybe the orange on Zayas came out too dark. You know. Yeah, it's, it's kind of cool, actually. Well, thank you. Yeah, I, I, I'm digging the Zayas with the orange hands. Now we yeah. got. Where are we going to go to? With, okay, so we got the flocked fly, Paul. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the fly sold really well. Well, cool. oh, that's cool. It's a nice figure. Yes. So we're back, back to, uh, you know, and Joel said, hey, how about we flock the fly? <laughs> And I'm like, why not? Why not? Yeah. Like a flock of fly. He would work really well, flock. Yeah. Hey, so Patrick is, uh, wants to know, will there be any human characters from the Planet of the Apes cartoon series? Oh, I Bill, I'd love one. <laughs> let's see. Let's let's just get through the five movies in the TV show. <laughs> I but that know. would, you know, if if they sell really good, uh, cartoon Zayas, cartoon Urko would be great. Yeah. Yeah, right, yeah. but but. The I don't cartoon. know right. if, you know, I don't know who did the, the cartoon. There could be rights. It's a filmation. You to know, Patty Freeling. I mean, it was, yeah. So, uh, so yeah. okay, to Patty Freeling. So, you know, there may be a rights issue. Oh, I see. It, you know, gotcha. I mean, CBS has been very good about getting everything Star Trek, uh, you know, signed off. Okay. You know, including the animated series. Oh, nice. So you oh, can wow. make you can make Lieutenant Ilya. Yes. First Lieutenant Superman. You can make a lot of things. Are you going to buy them? <laughs> yeah. I That's always that. the rub, isn't it? You know. Yeah. yeah. We got. You know. We, well, why, why don't you do Arex? Paul, we just we just pulled up. A, uh, uh, I I would buy I would buy a bunch of Arex. Sure. Uh, so I would second that. He's Brian. my son's yeah. favorite character. <clears throat> there you go. I had to buy that um, that Christmas ornament with Arex and Mares for my son because he is his idea of Star Trek is the cartoon and that was his favorite yeah. character. Nice. Truth is, it was probably my idea of Star Trek too. 
I probably saw the animated series before I saw the regular series. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I was just trying to think of that. If no, I no, I my sister was in love with William Shatner when I was five, so um, I had to watch okay. Star Trek, and then it just kind of stuck uh-huh. with me. She she grew out of it. <laughs> She moved on and left you with Shatner. She yeah, she right. moved on and left me a gear. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey guys, I, I probably I, I said this in my podcast a bunch of times. I thought Star Trek was a Saturday morning show because it was rerun on Saturday mornings, and and it looked as good as Land of the Lost to me. So I really yeah. thought it was a kids show. Hey, so we got we got Wolfman on screen. Does anybody want to make a comment before uh, it goes away? Uh. I love the it's I love awesome. the way he looks on the card. Yeah, and yeah, it looks like you guys did some different paint apps. It looks nice, and he's got the looks uh, he's got the the wolf feet too. Very cool. Oh yeah. So is it, is it not Lon Chaney Wolfman? This is just a Wolfman. No, this is no, this is the Chaney. Yeah, that's the Chaney yeah. Wolfman. Okay, but they have rules now about how you have to paint them. Oh, okay. <laughs> You know, yeah. and they have, and they don't have chainy images in the style guide. Mm. No <clears> kidding. So with Universal, yeah, with Universal, it's always uh, well, you can do this, but you can't do that. Gotcha, gotcha. You know, yeah, like I said, at know, least they, at least they finally abandoned the green jacket for um, Frankenstein. Yeah, they they seem to care not when we were doing them in two thousand nine. We got they were, the style guide was sacrosanct, and it was like you yeah. must have this PMS, you must have yeah. this color face, you must have this color pants. Now they seem uh, to be like, yeah, do whatever you like. All right, so so we're gonna have I want we're gonna get to uh, get this moving along a little bit. I got Igor coming up after the back of the Wolfman card, as you can see here. Here's his first look at Igor with uh, reasonable. I have not seen this resolution. Yeah. So, Paul, does he have like a hump in his back? Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah. It is a movable hump. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's cool. It's it's the Joe Namath football, and inside yeah. the inside the, the the tunic, there is a rectangular piece of fabric that it's stitched into, and you can yeah, move cool. it from the left to the right. Depending on what, oh, wow. what, depending on where you want the hump for what day. That's cool. Because you know the the line in the movie is right. Wasn't that hump on the other side? <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Well, that's that's so Marty really Feldman nice attention to Screwing around in the movie, move the hump. Yeah, right. And so they made it a joke. Oh, that's uh, great. Driving them crazy with so continuing. Hard. Uh, yeah. Sorry about the uh, just first look at McCoy. Okay. Yes. So I gotta, I gotta ask, Paul. Did did Paramount want new head sculpts for no. DeForest Kelly? No. no. You guys just felt no. like it. That is, that was us. Yeah. I. Yeah. I, I, I said, can I have new head sculpts? I always thought Scotty was a near miss, but um, I thought Bones was pretty okay. He you, was. You're not a fan. Very. Yeah. He. It was. But we all have it. And it's right. that eyebrow arching, and it's just a very one expression look. Yeah. Okay. Which he had a lot in the show, but you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just thought, you know, it, we could try new sculpts on them. I, yeah. Since we had enough time. I got to say, I'm game. I like that stuff. Yeah. Hey, and, and yeah. Paul, I was talking with Paul the other day. Paul did say that he uh, he personally picked that outfit. That is a executioner's outfit. So for the customer, oh, uh, there for for wait. for um. I mean, no, I'm, wait, wait. I'm sorry, I jumped back to Igor. I got Igor. Igor. I'm reading yeah. comments, but yeah, Igor. <laughs> Igor is Igor is yeah. basically instead of just doing a formless shroud. Yeah. For Igor, which is what he looks like in the movie, pictures of Marty Feldman on the set, it did look like more of a jester outfit. Okay. Ah. Tights, and a tunic. And, and and boots and I thought well you know Igor you know instead of just doing Igor as 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 just formless in a in like a robe right why don't we do him in an executioner's outfit which might make it a little cooler looking give him the black pirate boots 
you know, the big yeah, it works for me. And the hood on Igor, the hood is removable. Oh, cool! Oh, cool! So it's not sculpted. Okay. All right, back of McCoy's card. So yeah, yeah, back to McCoy. Great. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. There now, you go. Uh, one thing about McCoy. Yeah. He will be available with black accessories and with the light blue. Very cool. Both. Oh. Both ways. Because uh, some, we uh, Joe was saying, why don't we mix it up for different retailers? So we have variation, you know. So the the figures that go to Target look different from the ones that go to Walmart. That's awesome. You know, That's a slight cool. change just to make everybody buy more. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we got the Rocketeer on. Uh, it's a perfect card. I love the Art Deco look to it. Um, yes. That's. Uh... And then the little jet pad like that. That uh, you got it. You nailed it. Thank that you. Great. Yeah. 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 Very cool. The only thing I didn't like was that we didn't get the head vacuum formed. You know, to be uh, like the Romulan helmet. helmet. Oh, oh okay. I see. So there would be like, um, no, like a metallic uh, gold. Heard, but yeah. like, really, does? Oh, I see. Okay. It still works. Instead of a dull gold. To make yeah. it, it look like the Romulan helmet. Oh yeah. Does, does this mean well, you guys are going to be able to do Condor Man next? Like that's another Disney movie. How does the back? How does the back? Really? Back? That's that's it. No, no. Forget about forget about anything else you guys have. Condor Man. Could you? Yeah, let's just do that. <laughs> hey, let's start with that. That, 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 that may that Condor may Man. have been that may have been a little right. sarcastic. <laughs> Hey, hey Scott, did you, did you have yeah. a question about the backpack on that? I just somebody asked uh, Tom King asked how does it attach the backpack um, of Rocketeer with, Love. Uh, with an elastic strap. Okay, ah, elastic strap front through the We've back. Got new Scotty on screen. Very cool. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Okay, new that Scott? looks really good. Yeah. 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 Thank you. <laughs> it, it wasn't. Yeah, I never. I'm doing both of those either. No, not at all. So you know. No, no, it, hey. it wasn't a worry. Oh, yeah, it's not like anyone would call you on it if they didn't like it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's very cool. Hey, I, I, I want to tell you guys. Fans are, are really understanding, and uh, they don't say <laughs> yes. just harsh, harsh <laughs> things to you. Never. I wanted to point, yeah, I wanted to point out to you guys uh, that. Uh, go ahead, go ahead, uh, Andy. I'll go after you. I was just gonna say, whenever there's a, like a, a, a Mego thing of what's the best original Mego sculpts, McCoy almost always pops up, and uh, yeah, so I was a little, you know, uh, nervous about doing new ones, but uh, hopefully, I don't think they came out good. Scotty is well, I knew Scotty. Scotty was never uh, a, a, no, like that's a, true. A I bullseye for Mego, anyways. And, and well, this I, is this is I, a weird story, but my neighbors grew up like they were next door neighbors to James Doohan in the sixties. Wow! And they would show me photos of like him bar like having a barbecue and stuff because he was an actor in in I think it was he lived in like I can't remember just outside of London or something. And okay. yeah, it was really weird. They would like, oh, you like Star Trek? Oh, we know Scotty. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> that's very cool. Well, I can tell yeah. you the news this. The Scotty figure here, Chris Dillon actually saw it. I was, you know, messaging back and forth. He 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 loved it. He gave his stamp of approval on it. He thought it looked great. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it, it really like seeing it now on the card. Damn, that's mm -hmm. that's great. Makes it I real. Love it. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, everybody. I will be buying a new Migo Scotty, which is weird. There you go. Uh, yeah, there's one. Yeah, it worked. Yeah, yeah. So you sold one. <laughs> You got a little <laughs> bell on your desk there. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yes, I do. It's cold there to drink. You go. <laughs> I take a drink every time someone says, "Yeah, I'll buy that." Yeah. Right. <laughs> no, that that's good. You guys, you guys have. Uh... Oh, well, that's nice too. Pike. I threw Pike in there for uh, just just reasons. Yeah, I particularly love this figure. I think it's. I, too. I think it's a good looking figure. I think, uh, I, I, you know, for those who uh, aren't Discovery fans, because there's a lot of people out there, it, you know, it's Correct. true. We don't, we don't like things that are new. We don't like change. But it's a good show. We've got to carry on the series. We can't We can't just uh, rely on those 78 episodes and, and right. think that this thing is going to, you know, live for all eternity. 
Discovery is a good addition to the series. This is a good looking character. Uh, and even even if I didn't like the show, I'd still like this character because it fits with the rest of it. You know, it does. It just all depends on you know uh, how uh, how broad minded we want to be and 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 whatever. I think it's I think it's a great looking figure. One of my favorites. I think the I think the shirt is really sharp too. I think it looks really really good. Absolutely, absolutely. Hey, uh, Paul. Yes. Do you, do do we know why uh, this figure is is uh, is delayed? What do you mean delayed? Is is it is it not? Uh, I think uh, somebody had a question about license to uh, play that that they weren't shipping them or something like that. With the with... I don't know. I mean, initially, I don't think it was on the listing. Right. You so, know, we were going full steam ahead on it, and I I just remember it wasn't actually on the list, and I was like, well, "Are we doing this?" But it was being they... done at the same time, uh, you know, as uh, Burnham, and I was like, "I guess we're shipping." I still, I they, they they haven't get, they haven't gotten back to me. I mean, I haven't heard anything about it not being shipped to me. Someone told me that it wasn't in their order, but I have not heard from them that it wasn't. It's not being shipped. So as soon as I hear yeah, something, sorry, I'll get it'll get there. Awesome. That was a Sean sculpt, right? Uh, let's yes. find out. Can, well, yeah, yes. oh. Sean. Okay, does, he, it, uh, yeah, yeah. Show show enough. Well, it wasn't Andy. I know that. Oh. No, I didn't do that one. I did this one. Right here, this is another great addition because we've got to. Cool. We can't again. We can't just rely on those. What was it? Thirty-three superheroes we grew up with, and then the. Right. I mean, people out there that want Barney Miller. I mean, not exactly my choice, but I get it. I guess. But this is, you know, maybe somebody that was born, you know, in in this century choice you know for airbender i i think it's i think it's a great choice i think it's an exciting figure and, and, and uh if younger people are going to get into action figures this would be the way to do it you know I'm, my, my 16 year old daughter actually saw this and she said that it's going to do phenomenally well she said the, 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 she said the boys and the boys in, in her classes love this show love avatar so she said that she thinks it's going to do well yeah. with that with her age group yeah yeah i came on the show with my kids in like 2011 2012 and uh it uh it, it pulled me in and them okay. and yeah. uh my daughter's gone back and started at age 18 she's gone back to watch cora and and airbender again um okay there's just something about this show that uh really makes loyal fans that's so, good. What's who are some? Yeah, I, I I don't have any relation to it, but I don't begrudge Migo trying to pick up something that's going to sell. And well, this think... this is a really good idea, I think. Whoa. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I think so too. All right, let's, let's push on. I mean this this is a Netflix show. Oh yeah, yeah no, I, and my kids my kids are into it, and um, yeah, no it. It makes perfect sense to jump on that train. I don't know how he got in here again. I guess that means we're getting close to the end. We kind of uh, do something. Uh, okay, so I guess I think I was. Uh, uh, these are just some uh, shots. Uh, I, I really, really like. Uh, I saw Ultra Seven on the card, and I can't wait. Uh, yeah, you guys yeah. Really it have great. gone above and beyond. Really, with... really well. Yeah, yeah, they really. They're just great. Some of Jason's photography. So, and again, anything uh, look good. both color accessories. Uh, yeah, cool. dude, dude's insane. There's, there's awesome. Burnham's caused a little bit of a, of a, of a, uh, uh, she's, she's got people talking, but that's good. Okay. She does, she does that among the Star Trek fan base. There you go. She does. It's, yeah. Uh, it is, it is crazy. Um, and again, these are just, I mean, it's pretty much for this. I just want to play this out. There's a, a group okay. that I think Jason calls his class of there's yeah, for those there who are guys, oh yeah there's there's Deus of Sands. oh yeah that makes total See? sense See? Um, yeah. yeah yeah I just I just got the Mask of Red Death Phantom in on Friday and I'm really thrilled with that um, thank oh, you great I, I well I'm just such it's such a I'm such a Lincoln International guy and okay. it just feels like a seventh figure in that line and I'm you know. I'm in, I'm in heaven with that. Yeah. Right. You, you guys got to do Mr. Rock next. There you go. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All 
again, these are just some of the races. DC DC figures we're gonna are they gonna be in our uh, they're coming up after. Uh, we get we go back on screen. It's about time to switch people out. Uh, Marty's running a little yeah. bit behind, guys, uh, but they're there. So what we're gonna do? Oh, that's a nice we, shot. We go back to our yeah. interview. Oh, there's. I the love that. Wolf. That's awesome. Yeah, that's another figure that like I don't need, but I think is a perfect idea. Like that will sell, and it, it helps it me go. It was a good. Yeah, it, 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 and it's a great figure. I mean, it's really, really good. Who who sculpted that? Cool. That's Scott Fenster. Me. That's that's, that's me again. Oh, it's Andrew. Andy. Yeah, it's, 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 it's that's cool. awesome. Very cool. I was real excited. Yeah. I, I I've always been a fan of that movie, so it was it was really fun to sculpt. Uh, Scott. Yeah, and is is that is that based on the that's based on the Michael J. Fox, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Because yeah. you know, nobody needs Teen Wolf too. And these guys, <laughs> no. Jason Bateman, come on, he was a boxer. <laughs> no, you're right. Great, so good. So, I saw it in the theater. Can you believe it? Wow. Oh my stars! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know. What was I doing? <laughs> you know, I saw Short Circuit too in the theater, but I hadn't seen the first one, and I was completely lost. <laughs> really? So this, this to me is probably uh, the best bang for the buck, and. One of the best looking Frankenstein's I've ever seen, regardless of whether it's yeah, yeah, that's Amigo. We toy. finally got to do Karloff, and this could have yeah. been a hot toy, and and it I would have, you know, exactly. And I, 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 Sean was so excited to show me that I saw it a little early. He's like, I did Karloff. And it was so, um, it was just great. So this is like the first Karloff sculpt in the scale since the seventies. Is that right? Was there even a Karloff? Yeah. Seventies, yeah, there, there, yeah, there was AHI and Remco both did Carlock. That was back when you could. So, so Brian, answer but, this: those sculpts, those AHI. I mean, I, I think I've got two, and and yeah. the thing, I mean, those are. I mean, I thought AHI was supposed to be like the like the KO company compared to. Well, somebody company. hasn't read Toy Ventures issue one, Scott, <laughs> because what yeah. AHI did was take the Bill Lemon sculpts from the Aurora models. And oh. copy them. Okay. So yes, they're gorgeous sculpts because Aurora paid for them. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> AHI is the cheekiest company in the world. They stole <laughs> wherever they could and apologized later. That's funny. That's funny. Okay, so so now I'm not sure what's coming up next, but like I said, oh, there's a close up of Stan. Good job nice. on painting the glasses, which kills me because oh yeah, that's a toughie. These guys know what they're doing on this, but damn it, oh, yeah, right. it you know, uh, uh, Kirk's eyebrows on those first couple uh, waves, man, I don't know what the hell was going on with that, but Stan, look, I mean, he's confident. He's looking right at you saying, see? Yep. Oh, there's, there's a close-up of a fly. fly. <laughs> so. Oh, that looks cool. It is. It's pretty neat. Again, these are all, of course, these are all Jason's pictures. I so I, I'm gonna tap out, guys, um, oh. and give somebody else time to talk. But uh, it's been a it's been a joy. Well, Brian, I'll tell you what. Let's uh, let's get you back into interview mode before you tap out, so you can salute. Oh, sure. and say goodbye. So there you are, and, and we got uh, Kevin and Jason on standby. They're gonna come in, and we got awesome. uh, Marty uh, and Paul will be here shortly. They're they're gonna occupy a spot, so we get to have uh, two other people. Brian, um, when is when 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 do you anticipate issue three uh, for Toy Ventures to be? Uh... Uh, whenever I, this is the beauty of right now. Mike, uh, my, my distribution doesn't start until the summer, so I don't really have a boss or a deadline. But we're hoping to be ready for press in March. Um, I'm still. Uh, working on the Lincoln International article, and the problem is, is that nobody knows anything about the damn company. I even asked Marty about it, and he's like, "I don't know." Wow. And um, I've been, uh, I actually been putting some calls into New Zealand. I met some people. Uh, we we figured out a lot of things we didn't know, and it, weirdly enough, the last things Lincoln International ever did were Mego toys. Uh, they were they they threw in the towel in 1980. And just started distributing other people's toys. And the last lines they did were like pocket superheroes and uh, speed burners, of all things. Cool. So um, 
but I'm hoping to be ready for press um, first week of March. Uh, I'll be doing pre-orders, and then it's on to issue four, and issue four is already like um, shaping up to be awesome. We're going to be doing more Migo. I've got to talk to Marty. And uh, I just, I just, uh, I just confirmed Alex Ross is going to do a spotlight oh, for it wow. before as well. He's going to talk about Migo, and uh, that, that's that's really? super exciting. Issue five, yeah. So issue five is all Migo reborn. I issue five, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna actually oh. issue five is. I'll talk to you guys about. It. I want to do um, the, the big thing. I want to do is Planet of the Apes then and now, and. Oh, really? um, yeah, so um, I said to I don't think you heard me, uh, Brian. My... I said, <laughs> issue five. We're... So, yeah, right. Issue five. We're we're gonna we're gonna um, we're. I already said to my my uh, my co-designer Corey that I feel like Doctor Zayas has to be the cover of issue five. Nice. And and yeah. um, so I don't know who's gonna do it. If it's gonna be a painting or if it's gonna be um, uh, just a beautiful photo, but we're gonna have this kind of like. You know, Migo Apes is the the lead story, and I want to go from the um, the original prototypes that I have photos of to what you guys are doing now, and talk about that journey. So, um, but that is I uh, do have a I do have an unpainted test shot Zayas had. Oh, nice! Perfect. Yeah. Right, so, um, yeah. So that I'm really excited about that, um, and I've but. Um, I got to get issue three out of <laughs> out the door before I do anything else, you know, but, um, and then we're also going to start to serialize Migo's Star Trek line because I can't do it in one issue. Uh, it's just, it's just too big. So we're going to yeah. be serializing some stuff so we can kind of like get the whole story, do it right. And um, so it'll be Star Trek wave one. So lot, lots of exciting stuff going on and lots of stuff to talk about almost too much. Excellent. Hey, so so I got I got to tap somebody out. I got Joel in the green room, and yeah, uh, I'll I'll go. Okay, bye. but uh, it's it's been a treat. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank you, buddy. Okay, take care, guys. Bye. Yeah. Boy, I hate that guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot! Okay, he's gone. <laughs> okay, right. I, I got Joel and Marty coming on right now, guys. Hey. How you, guys, how are you guys doing? Yeah. You're my favorite people. Look who's here. <laughs> well, I'll see you enough. Well, John, what can I say? How you doing, Scott? Hey. hey, man. How you doing, Marty? Yeah, I'm doing great. Andy, Hi. we haven't met, but I will tell you that the, uh, we, the stuff's are great. <laughs> you have met him. <laughs> we have met him. No, listen, it's it it my age. quick and me You were busy. It, it's, it's okay. My age, you have to forgive me. It's overwhelming. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. That's, it's overwhelming. That's that's, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, we we kept Marty here just so you, just so you could say hello to him. We're gonna we're gonna tap Marty out. I mean, I'm sorry. We kept Andy here just so Marty can say hello to him. We're gonna Andy, we're gonna tap you out now. We're gonna bring Mr. Yes. Fiori in. But Marty, I want you guys to see something. This is what Jason Seville has created. This is going to be. We're gonna see two spots. You're going to see the newest thing in Migo commercials. It'll remind you. I hope it takes you back to the 70s. And we're going to bring uh, uh, Jason on after, as soon as we're done, so you can tell him what you thought. And without further ado, awesome. here is the about this. first commercial spot. Just watch the monitor. Awesome. Join the adventure with Star Trek Migo action figures. Captain! Scotty is exploring on a strange new world, unaware that an enemy alien is stalking him. My name is McCoy. I'm a doctor. Dr. McCoy is on board the USS Enterprise, his tricorder having picked up strange new life forms. From out of the shadows, danger lurks. It's Scotty transporting to the rescue. Classic Star Trek characters, Dr. McCoy, the Salt Vampire, and Scotty, available soon. Joining the larger Star Trek universe of action figures by Mego. When the world is threatened, it is a call for heroes. 
Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, fighting crime and defeating the villains. Like the Riddler who has snuck into the Hall of Justice to commit his misdeeds. While our heroes are away, Riddler has come to play. Justice League unite. Here's the flash and a dash. And Green Lantern summons his power. DC's world's greatest Mego heroes, Riddler, The Flash, Green Lantern, coming soon, where they join the larger DC universe of action figures by Mego. How about that? Wow, well, that was fantastic. <laughs> that was awesome. If my, if my cramp team could have done as well in, in the 70s, we would have done double the business. And now, and, you, <laughs> and, that, and that's that's exactly hold that thought, Andy. I'm gonna say say good night, and I'm gonna bring Jason right. on so he could tell him that. Thank you, man. I'll, I'll you, Andy. We'll definitely. I'll call hey, you, buddy. Sure, no problem. All right. One second. Yeah, it's hard to to uh, okay, we bring uh, Jason in. All right. <laughs> Jason. There he is. Jason Seville, that's your man right there. Jason, Jason, Jason. Jason. Hey, Jason. Oh, can you hear me uh, okay, Scott? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Very All well right. done. On Pleasure to be with you tonight, gentlemen. We just we just watched your commercials. Awesome, Jason. Oh. Oh. You got it. Yeah. They're, 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 really, they're really great. And I have to tell you, your overall photography, the way you're handling the entire product line, you're shooting, you're your sets, your your your, 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 your positioning, your lighting. Your, I mean, it's it's it's, it's pretty, pretty spectacular. We're putting together a deck, a new deck now for going forward, and half the stuff is yours going forward. That's how good they are. Very cool. Wow. Wow. Thank you, you gentlemen. I feel kind of bad. The video was literally kind of just thrown together at the last minute. And uh, I mean, I think it came out great, but I appreciate the kind words on that. It's easy to make good videos when you have a great product like me. Go. You know, thank you very much. You know, when uh, Steve wanted to say he wrote, he wrote the sunshine of my life. You want to say he wrote it 12 minutes. So sometimes at the end, when you do it, put it together at the end, it comes out. Perfect. You have to rework it. Have to rethink it. Have to play with it. Right. It just came out with, with a real professional touch, especially from the Migo point of view. Forget about everybody else's point of view. From the Migo point of view, just spectacular. Really, really enjoyed it. Incredible. Thank you. Because you know, I'm gonna let you and I will talk offline because I got a couple ideas that we're we're juicing around. I want to talk to you about. I'll always hey. be available for Migo. Hey, yeah. Thanks. Speaking of spectacular. Uh, Marty, you guys, you last time I last time I was face to face with you, I think it was at Mego Meet when you guys were heading out. We were, we we're all splitting up. We didn't, we didn't know uh, when we see you again from from that day to right now. You guys have killed it, man. You have killed it. You have you have surpassed what you you just surpassed all expectations. You know. So now, of course, we want more. <laughs> you know, how we are really like, all right. All right. Well, you got to give Joe and. And Paul uh, and Bruce, all the credit. They they've got a lineup coming in, in the next uh, eight. I'm not giving. I'm not going to tell what it is, but they've got a lineup coming in the next eighteen months that is going to knock everybody's socks off. Yeah, it's just yeah, the the embrace. The, I mean, once we open up the whole Disney package with all that that IP, everybody in the world now says, "Okay, it was now." It's all coming to us, and we're going to we're going to embrace it all. It's, it's pretty. It's been incredibly exciting, but what we haven't even scratched, we haven't even scratched the surface, uh, and um, and that's that's the exciting part about doing these things with you guys because I, I, I've been watching for the last you know twenty minutes, uh, just you know muted, listen to what, all the all the interaction. I get more information just watching you guys digest it, your ideas. Uh, the, the uniqueness of, each, of, of the products. And just this is a matter of fact, I owe Mr. Frank Wojo a phone call. So Frank, I want you to tell you, I have not forgotten you. I, I will call you the early okay. week. Gotcha, gotcha. Yep. So, so we're excited. We have some questions. Uh, uh, I'll tell you what, Jason, 
And if you don't, yes, mind, I've got uh, some questions coming in. Um, now, how do we field questions? All right, so let's see. What do we? Okay. All right. So one one of the questions that, that are coming in, uh, we've got to. Uh, um, I'm sorry. Let me let me let me get my bearings here. I had Kevin, Jason. I'm gonna I'm gonna put you out for a minute. If I could put Kevin back in, but we're gonna put you back. I guess I don't have Kevin in the green room, so you can go ahead. Great and work, Jason. Great work, sir. Let's uh um uh, content here, guys. All right. What was your uh what was your favorite uh? Well, what do you think about the apes again, Marty? I mean that's amazing. Like this, this is like one of the things that everybody's. Uh, uh, every this is it's like a full circle. It's it's amazing. Well, exactly, exactly. I got a question. It's not it's not a question that uh, anybody's asking. But can we get that? Uh, uh, it goes back to that AJ uh, that Action Jackson float with the Planet of the Apes reveal back in uh, what was that 70, 73, 1974? We yeah. wanted to recreate that. Paul's going to Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Macy's, oh, is that what it was? Yeah. That's what Macy's it was. Macy's Thanksgiving yeah. Day Parade. Yeah. Like, we were frozen frozen 1974. <laughs> we were... <laughs> Freeze Paul is my, my life director. He knows more about my life than I do. So, <laughs> yeah. Every now and then I have to correct it. I, and I would say, but Paul, you weren't there. I was there. Yeah, but... <laughs> Chuck Gregory wants to know where we see flock tapes at any point. That's a really good idea. I like that idea. Let me, get, let me, let me, let me touch base a little yeah. bit on the Planet of the Apes because when we first launched in sequence, first we came with, with DC and then we came with Marvel. When we want to, and, and they just filtered through the process. I mean, it hit the marketplace and they just blew out. When we did Planet of the Apes, we did it after the third movie. The, oh. the first three movies were, were done and they had not, they, had, they built a cult following. But there was no television show. It wasn't. It wasn't a contemporary movie that was happening at that moment. It was the third movie, which was the weakest of all of them. But what they did right, was yeah. they, they ran. They ran on a Saturday afternoon yep. in strip. Uh, it, and I, I, I went. I went and saw all three of them. And I made a phone call when I walked out of the movie to get the licensing rights. Wow. Um, guy comes over to my office and Marty, you, you can't. You can't. Uh, you can't have it. I said, why? He said, well, and he takes out a, co a contract signed by another company with a check. So I said, what does that mean? I can't have it. So I, I took the contract. I ripped it up. He almost had a heart attack. I then took the check and I ripped that up. And he, 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 was, he, was, he was about to pass out. Right? I went to my office. I wrote him a check twice the amount. Right? <clears throat> I gave it to him, and, I, and, I, and we, we, we handed a contract between the two of us, and that's how nice. we got it. But, but when we launched it, when we launched it, because it was so unique to what we were doing, it doubled the sales of either Marvel and or DC the previous okay. year. Uh, wow. And, it, and it, if we weren't the number one toy in the in the in the country at the time, clearly we were amongst amongst the top. Three to five, but it just and we, and we came again. We came very late in the year. It was the last quarter, item, but but it blew up. So it, it, it it's always held a special place to me uh, because of how we handled it, the story behind it, what what the right. process, how, how how it all worked. You know, it's, it's been a very unique. Uh, it was a very unique property. That's very cool. Well, I'm actually seeing some questions on the 14 inch line, asking yeah. if it's continuing. Absolutely. You're going to see the 14 inch line coming out this year. We're going to have some cool. great product uh, on the 14 inch line and um, very excited about it. Awesome. Uh, you, I, 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 what I'm about to say, uh, I'm sure Joe's going to hit me and Bruce is going to scream at me. Uh, uh, but yes. you're, going to, you're, going to see, you're going to see the 14 inch line scale, but at different price points. So you're going to see very some very cool. unique, very unique stuff. Uh, we're not hindered by when we get to that size. We're not hindered by price point. So we're very going to start cool. to play with price points, and we're going to start to make a different, a different position. So I, that's all. That's all I'm going to say. But I want you to know that wow. it should be, 
It should be exciting. Well, there you go. We're ready. That's cool. very cool. <laughs> We're ready. That's why, that's why they, they don't want me to come on live. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's exactly why we want you here because because. We're just gonna go. Well, so glad you, you did, though. Thanks. If you guys haven't thought about it yet, we need to see fourteen and Japes at some point. So just keep that in the back of your minds. Nice. What so back? back. <laughs> well, yeah, well, yeah. All right. That's even better. Even better. Yep. 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 Absolutely. Someone's asking about eight inch, eight inch micronauts. Micronauts is a um, is a Hasbro property. So. We 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 can't do micronauts right now. That's not true. <laughs> we're, we're, Come back in. No, for us, there's no property that's off limits. You know, we've been we've been told no by so many times by so many companies. Now we're doing somebody else's but a bing bada boom, and uh, we just keep we keep going back. We keep going back. We'll break Hasbro down eventually. Eventually, they'll see it our way. Nice. Very cool. How about uh, I got um, Richard Mark asking about uh, Spaceball, which is oh, uh, the parody of uh, Star Wars. We know Spaceballs. We know Spaceballs yeah. real well. But we're doing Young Frankenstein. Uh, you know, we, we love Mel Brooks. Um, the problem with, with, with Spaceballs is nobody's taking ownership of it. Fox is not yeah. taking ownership of it. Dizzy's not taking ownership of it, and Mel's not taking ownership of it. It's like yeah. it's this kafani of, of the well of insanity. So I, I've gone to Mel directly. He, I mean, he's an old friend of mine. As a matter of fact, his son used to work for me for five years. Uh, you know, so right. we have a personal relationship. Um, he, he looks at me and says, Money, I'll give it to you in a second. But Fox owns it. Fox turns around and says, No, we don't own it. Lucas yeah. owns it. And they okay. said, Lucas doesn't own it. So that we, we, one day, you know, when that thing settles, and eventually you will, we'll, we'll, we'll find a way to get that as well. Awesome. Very cool. All this stuff, by the way, I want you to know, just keep laying on us. All the stuff's on our radar. You know, we just, you know, we, we're yeah. out there every day hustling another property, just like we did in the 70s. It's because that's nice. what it is. It's a hustle. You, you got to beat the next guy to the punch. There you go. Nice. Very good. Very good. I'm trying to I'm trying to get uh, Mr. Fury back in here. Uh, he's got he's got the contest uh, with him. <laughs> All right. So we also have uh, we got questions about the Ultraman line. Are now that you've got Ultraman and Ultra Seven, are there any uh, are there are, are there plans to go even deeper in that and and hit uh, uh, some of the other uh, what am I? What am I thinking of, Frank? What am I thinking of, Paul? What, what, the what, other kaiju. Yeah, the other the other characters in the Ultra Ultra series, you know, like right. Ultra Jack. Oh, yes. you know, yeah, right, right. The kaiju are the bad guys. Okay. Well, like, they're the right. ones that yep. look like Godzilla, look like yeah, yep, know, monsters um, basically. Yeah. There's an Ultraman that's coming up in an anniversary, so we, you know, it seems like Ultraman's better received. Um, the kaiju. Is is less well known. It was kind mm -hmm. of a end of the episode. You know, they they right. basically two guys would wrestle in a in a paper mache city at uh, at the end of the episode. Right. <laughs> now, there's less name recognition for the kaiju, but that's a big source of monsters that just keep. You know, we could just keep doing. Mm -hmm. it. I think Ultraman has been very well received so far, and I think um, you know based on. The reaction, it's a line we absolutely want to continue with. Yeah. I mean, that's good news. Good. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then there's the uh, questions uh, uh, people asking about the rock. People are asking, uh, oh, hey, the hammer figures. People are really, really, there's a real, the hammer, uh, Dracula, and, and that stuff. These guys, there's a problem. These, all of these characters so that was, that, that's a big faster thing in, in, in the other mega groups in general what's next what's after the Hammer dracula you have plans going for in that line or like yeah we we love the hammer license we love the hammer characters so absolutely continuing along the hammer license with the uh, cool. new character you, you will see new characters coming out pretty soon too 
Battle of the Planets. That's what that's that was one of the the lines, uh, which is like an Ultraman. Or it's just a Japanese anime. Japanese anime, right? Uh, we also Gotcha Man. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha Man. Gotcha Man is uh, you know it, it's it's eluding. I mean, we we can't nail down who the license story is on Gotcha Man. We've uh, you know we, we've put a lot of you know calls out and and tried to um, try to find out who's got the property, who licenses the property. If anyone out there in Migoland knows who the licensor is or can give us any information to go to uh, to get this property, we would love to do Gotcha Man. Yep. You guys heard that. Anybody, anybody, any ambassadors, anybody that might know uh, who owns it? Brian. Brian Hotton, though. Brian, that's, I think that would be pop back on. I may have a number for you, Joel. I'll give I'll give it to you after. Sounds good. All right, Frank. Yep. Awesome. Yep. Awesome. Cool. We got. I, I, I wanted to throw this out there too. Um, with with the Apollo Creed coming, there's, I've been getting a lot of interest on a possible. You know, people want people are wanting the Rocky again. Do you guys foresee releasing Rocky again to go along with Apollo Creed? Yeah, absolutely. I think it would do well. There seems there seems to be a lot of it's even recently here with it at Walmart. Recently, it seems like it's it's you know kind of hit a resurgence as far as people wanting it. And I think with Apollo Creed coming out, it goes hand in hand. So uh, you know, just something to think about too. Agreed. Hey, uh, Jason, I'm going to uh, tap you out. I'm going to bring uh, Kevin in. Just stand by, though. We're not done with you. All right. <laughs> All right. So. Great job, Jason. Oh, you guys are amazing. He is very talented. Live long and prosper. All right, so we got the we got the Don from the Bronx. If I can pull him in, come on, Kevin. There he is. There he is. He's got his figures right in front of him. There he is. Hey, how you doing? Hey, there what's he is. going on, guys? How's everybody doing? Good, good. So, what? Uh, Marty's Marty's trying to get in. I'm already seeing his. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. Hey, so the eyes don't work as well as they used to. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm a little slower with uptake, but those are great. They look really great. They are. They're some, oh, of, my <laughs> they are some <laughs> of my favorites. <laughs> yeah, great. So, that Ultraman, it's a beautiful thing. So, Kevin, yep. you've been sitting in. You've been sitting in the back. What are some of the questions that uh, you have prepared that the ambassadors have been asking? Um. You already answered one of uh, uh, flocked apes in the future. Um, someone had uh, brought up uh, the Ferengi from uh, Star Trek. Uh, they're interested to see if any of those would be made. Um, Specifically Quark. Okay. Quark. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, that uh, was. Uh, they were. They were kind of villains in. Um, in uh, next generation, generation uh, right? Yeah, in they, season one, when they went to um, Deep Space Nine, they were a little more timid. So, um, people asking more DC this year. Are there going to be more DC uh, heroes or villains this year? I don't see why not. Yes. Okay. Are you guys going to buy them? If you buy them, we'll make it. <laughs> I'll, buy them. Hey, I'll buy them. I'll buy them. <laughs> As long as Frank keeps taking my rubber checks, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, plans to revisit Kirk and Spock now that you've done McCoy and Scotty. New head sculpts. New sculpts. Oh. What do you think, Paul? What? Oh, absolutely. Want to do new sculpts? Actually, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, Paul yes, Smith. New, <laughs> new sculpts, um, new outfits. Very cool. Yeah. I, I believe Andy did a, a Kirk sculpt already. Yeah. Okay. That uh, he had, and he might have done Spock already too. He did. He did. Because, uh, uh, yeah, he did. You... I. Oh, you tapped on my email? What? No, no, no. I don't. I don't. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't. That's not what I. That's not what I lifted when I went to his house. I swear. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. No. Please, Andy lives in Nebraska. Good luck on. Oh, so we're there. South, so we're really good. So, um, so uh, we got a burning question, and this is directly from Mr. Abrams, and it, and it goes like this: One of the 
uh, most asked questions of all asked questions are while everybody loves the the classic Mego body, the classic eight inch Mego body, uh, we yes are yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes yes yeah i guess because we're all we're all older folks now we want a amigo female that looks like something that we would take to the movies and you know not like uh, well not like that wait, 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 wait. slow it down i, I said yes yeah. but it's a not yes yes it was oh. a soft yes oh yeah it's a yes <laughs> yes there you go so yes means good, and that's that's no good means yes means I'm good. Yep. Our goal, so now our goal is to, because we have a, a unique position, a single body, and it allows us to very quickly, we acquire a license, we're mm -hmm. on top of it, and that's one of the reasons they give us licenses in the first place, because we're on top of it real quick, we expand it, and we deliver it. The only way you can do that is with, with a universal body. So we, we know that we're going to have to expand the bodies, both mm -hmm. female and male, uh, in terms of getting away, getting away from the, and if I, if I hear it one more time from my team about changing the eight inch body uh, and get rid of the rubber band, I will hear it one time too many. So we're in the process of, of doing that as well. Awesome. So ha having said all the above, we, 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 we know where we have to not put our, our emphasis. I understand that this, this company is brand, this is brand new, but by a human life is still, we just came out of being a baby into a toddler. We're, mm -hmm. just, as far, we're just about starting to walk. Uh, forget about run, forget about playing sports. So the, the process is now coming together. Uh, you know, we have a very small, tight team, and that's very beneficial to us now because very few things drop through the, through the cracks. And, you know, in business, everything always, so it's always happening. You know, it's Murphy's Law. Uh, but now we have to turn on and, and, and do that. Stand up straighter, walk one foot in front of the other, start to jog, and then we're going to have to start to run. And the only way to do that is to give, give us a result as a library of, of additional bodies. Got you. Very cool. Answer. Very good answer. Um, Kevin? I got um I got here's a big one. Plans to do something in three and three quarter. There is zero plans today to do that. And I only say this because we have such a backlog of eight and fourteen inch, both male and female, just to get up running. Mm -hmm. We are, it's gonna just take us a little bit of time. But there's no question three or three quarter have to come. I mean, we were the foundation of the whole Star Wars business. They yes. did three or three quarters because we did comic action. And so we know we have to get there. All right? But again, we don't want to grow too fast. We don't want to be all over the place uh, mm -hmm. as, as a company we, you know, in, in terms of what we have to we have to settle down. So that's the process happening. There are other things that we're doing in, in this that's going to force us to do three and three quarter. But it's that that will take that will take a probably twelve to fourteen months away. Well, it certainly won't be this year. Okay. Nice. Very good. Very good. Kevin. Yep. Uh, another one. Uh, I saw one uh, six million dollar and the Bionic Woman licenses. Any anything there? Let's. That's universal. Hello? Yes. I know who it is. Have we discussed it with him? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, Biff Bank Pow had done some in 2010. Uh, they were limited. Uh, Bionic Woman's like a separate a separate license. They can only do six million dollar man. Uh, they did Steve Austin, Bigfoot. Uh, I I was involved with them when they were doing it. Uh, it did okay, but uh, it's a, kind of a limited license, but it's probably there. It, we could probably add on to Universal if there's enough interest. But it's all going to be in the head sculpt. Yeah. You know, they, they're very critical about how much it looks like uh, Lee, Lee Majors. And the yep. size 
in the in the in the in the size of the heads too. That's that's been uh, a number one criticism for any action figure company. They you know things in proportion. People people can tend to get a little bit bent out of shape when they got a, a big, which not which not from Mego, but you know uh, some of the companies in the last 15, 20 years had you know either really huge heads or uh, mm. actually had heads that were too small. I mean just just little trivial things, but. I guess as we get older, we we find things that uh, uh, that you know that bother us more than than others. And I guess a sense of, <laughs> as stupid as this sounds, but a sense of realism for a, a fifteen to twenty dollar product is, I, I unfortunately I guess we expect and what we like to look at. I don't know if you can see this, but uh, my whole this whole room this yeah, is nothing dark. This is. This is your history, Marty, right here. I know you can't see it because I don't have the lights. You're, but yeah, you're all dark. That's everything chronicalized from from day one. I even got uh, Fighting Ink in there somewhere. <laughs> but uh, Kevin, we're gonna we got we got a contest to do, and, yeah, and let's do it, it. It is all on Kevin, and that's on. I thought it was on Rob. <laughs> oh, okay, no, Kevin, but you're yeah. the one that's you're the one that uh that that is bringing. Um, you're bringing it to us, and then Rob is the one that's going to uh, uh, figure out who who gets it. Essentially, why am I discussing this with you? You already know what you're doing, but I can't see you. I can see Ultraman and Batman, and and maybe maybe you can move a little bit closer to the camera. And no, I think that's better. I, I think it's better. Oh, so Paul likes you better this way. Just don't want to scare like the, yeah, yeah, right. I think the fingers are better. So go. Um, with uh, with your announcement. So what we need to do right now is we need the first four people who write Marty wins will win an autographed figure from Marty himself. The first four. <laughs> the first so four. So these are all the comments. So they've got to write in the comments. Marty wins. Let's see. Matt Ledbetter. Matt. Matthew Custer. Matthew. All right, Louis Matt. Louis Crispinus. Whoa. And Stephen J. Dodd. There you go. Those are your four winners. Congrats, guys. Congrats. Congratulations, You're writing that guys. down, Kevin? I'm going to write them down, yeah. All right, here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to literally sign these things as we speak. That's if, if uh... Any of the guys who just won um, want to uh, have me sign it with any type of inscription, I'll do that as well. Nice. Very cool. You had two Matthews, a Lewis, and somebody else. You had uh, right. Ledbetter, Custer, Dodd, and Lewis. Rob, yeah. Rob's got the screenshot. He just sent it. Uh, well, wait a minute. Lewis? Uh, uh, They've got it because okay. a lot of people do learn that. Rob's wow. got a different four, Kevin. Seriously, did you see? It? Go look at your uh, go look at your messages. Look at the screenshot. The first one uh, is Matt Ledbetter, L E D B E T T E R. Yep. Yep. So that's what I, I have. think we'll just write to Matt. Okay. Is it M A T T? You said. Yeah. M A T T. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, boy. You got a Batman. Look at that, guy. Very cool. Oh. Very cool. Look at that. Kevin, what, who was number two? Matthew number Custer. Two I had as Matthew Custer. Okay. So Matt. Another Matt, right? Mm hmm. This one should be for uh, Scott. Huh? Oh, no. No, no. What? <laughs> this is Matt. Oh, that's Matt. I'm sorry. Yeah. There you this go. Is Scott, so this one should be for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey. um, who's number three, pal? Uh, number three, I have Lewis. G-R-I-T-S-I-P-I-S. 
Rick's, uh, Rick's. <laughs> Lewis. Good. He's in the Bronx. I got Lewis. 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 Uh, yeah. See what? Just Lewis. Spell Lewis's last name. G R I T S I P I S. <laughs> okay, so um, very cool. And the fourth one. Okay, so all right, so check this out. So I have because I got I got I'm getting some screenshots in. The fourth uh, one was Dodd, right? What? Stephen Dodd. Stephen Dodd. What Dodd said. Steven Dodd? Steven. Yeah, Steven. Yeah. D-O-D-D. Steven was the big soldier ape at Migo Meet. Yeah, they're all Dr. Migo customers. <laughs> I, I remember him distinctly. I recognize their names. I, yep, I know him too. Yes, Steven was the guy who dressed up as a soldier ape. We got to get him back in that outfit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, is, it, is it going to be at Migo Meet this year? We're, sure. we're working on it. If any of us are. They're, let's they're hope. Working, let's hope. Working on it. I got. I'm. 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 I've got a Cornelius that. Uh, I've got. Well, I've got actually got a Caesar outfit. I got a Cornelius outfit on order, and I got the mask with. Uh, uh, Clay Sayers redoing the mask for me, so we'll have two monkeys there. And, there you go. But uh, okay, so now here's the thing. I got. Okay, I've got. All right, so. Is that okay? So, guys, you guys just just go ahead. So this is okay. So this is what's going on. Our uh, Kevin, I've got yeah. people sending me screenshots, and this is what their list was. I got Matt Ledbetter. Everybody's, everybody's got a different leg. It's what I see on my screen. Okay. Everyone's going to have a different leg, so you can't go by. I saw this. I saw, it's what I see on my screen. Okay, guys. So that's that's and what those were the four I saw. Okay. All right. So that's, that's why guys, that's, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Yep. That's what we can do about that. But I'll tell you what we can do because we actually planned for six. Am I correct, Joel? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do this. Everybody, everybody heads up the first on is this go, this is going by Kevin's lag now. So well, hey, wait, wait. Scott, let's, let's stop for a minute. So if, if somebody won the first round, they're not eligible to win this time. Is that correct? Yes. They're yes. not eligible to win yes. this time. And what we'll do we're going to pick not the first two because we've got two more to sign and give away. We're going to pick number five and number 10, but the phrase will be, I better win this time. Marty. <laughs> Again, the phrase will be, I better win this time, Marty. Number five and number 10. Those will be the winners. There you go. <laughs> It's very complicated, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I'm drinking. There you go. <laughs> All right. Hey, Marty, I got to say, man, that, that beard, your beard is impressive, brother. I like it. Shepard, one. Richard Mark, two. Bill Vincent, three. Jason Algood, four. It's downright Timothy Old Testament. Carter is number five. Yeah. Very cool. Who? Timothy Carter is number five. Michael Christie, six. Gregory Harris, seven. Josh Levi, eight. And Frank Martinez, nine. Keith Goodwin is number 10. There you go, guys. There you go. Congrats, right. guys. Congrats. Marty, thank you so much for, for doing that for these guys. Timothy Carter and right. Keith Goodwin. Keith Goodwin. Yeah. Who? Keith. Keith Goodwin is 10. Keith. Yeah. Keith. Keith Goodwin. Yep. I just want to go back to uh, something you mentioned before about Rocky. Yes. Yeah. And whether Rocky will be available. Rocky is available at Walmart. You guys can find him at Walmart. Excellent. Good. So thanks, Joel. Yeah. We. So. Very cool. Thanks, Marty. Yeah. Uh, thank you, guys. I get to run. Uh, listen, I just appreciate hey. everything you guys are doing. Uh, with, my sense is I'm going to get a little more involved in these. Live stuff oh, over the next step. Very much oh, that's we great. got stuff to announce and talk about and get excited about right. and get to you and and, and 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 we just want to feed it to you. And and, and it's like when you ask these questions, I'm gonna try. You know, I try to be as 
straightforward as I can. I mean, it's just that I just can't say, but Absolutely. if it's if it's if it's not, you know, because we're about to announce something, I can't be preliminary here. I'll give you as straight as I can. Thanks so much and have a good night. Thanks, Thanks guys. Good night. Thanks, you, Marty. Thanks, Marty. Okay. All right. I'll uh, jump in for a few things. Okay. Cool. How'd we do? That was cool. Excellent. Yeah, Love it. It went Love it. well. It went well. Very nice. Very cool. Very. Uh, somebody... It was great to get me on and you as well, Joel. Very cool. Have you we... guys jump in. Very much. I have oh, a... you as well. I have a question and and uh this this is this is another standard question we get a lot of, Joel. Um I'm gonna bring Jason back in. Oh, I can't. That's right. <laughs> I was gonna bring Jason back in, but we still have just as many people. Um a lot of people ask about the Wizard of Oz, and I know that there was a push for Wizard of Oz. Uh, um, His puppy saying that. Uh, and I know he's he's big. He's, it seems like that line uh, works overseas or in Australia or something like that. Is there a reality of of to further that line, the Wizard of Oz line? Is it or? I'd like to I would like to do it. Um, we have the license. Uh, I don't see why not. Um, the my, I think one of our biggest issues is the Tin Man, which yeah, yeah, know, is thanks a lot, of tooling. It, yeah. Takes a lot of tooling, and, and really would throw, you know, uh, throw a monkey wrench into our price points. Uh, you know, we kind of battled with that a little bit, but um, I wouldn't say no. Okay. okay. What's been the best seller so far besides the obvious? We know we know that the monsters always do well. We know that um, um, Star Trek hopefully always does well. Um, what has, what's been some of the uh, some surprises? Of the, yeah. Well, DC figures, of course. Uh, oh. Hi, Mrs. Rosen. Hi, hello. <laughs> How are you? Hello. I'm not just Mrs. Rosen. I'm just Asian. Oh, <laughs> Marty's. <laughs> Your biggest um, this, I, I think we've been pleasantly surprised with, uh, with uh, quite a few of the of the uh, licenses and I think by the way it teaches us what else to go into you know what other characters to go into and you know what works what doesn't work you know what, some of the best Rocky did okay for us we've re we've seen a resurgence in Rocky now with um, with Creed coming out um, very cool yep yeah. now it was it was mentioned and i think I, I think it was kind of split 50 50 with with what we thought as you know us that that hang out together and stuff and, and one of the thoughts were like when rocky was released maybe he should have been released with creed or with drago all at the same time and i think people thought that about like lord of the rings and stuff like that some people even said that well it had they released uh uh the other two if they if they would have did four lord of the rings figures meaning uh gandalf and frodo with Legolas and you know then people would have been more inclined to buy because it would have been a you know like a like a complete set you know in some aspects but it i would have been I know. I think I know what Paul's gonna say, but I think I what what I've learned from you guys. If you did the four and all four failed, then there might be a big, you know what I mean, like a like a big uh, uh, deficit where there didn't have to be any at all. That, it's the Lord of the Rings community that was had bought Toy Fair figures when the movies are out, and now they were buying Hot Toys, you know, sideshow or Hot Toys figures at two hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. It's an older fan base that seemed to want to, to have more detail because I went on all the Lord of the Rings forums and, you know, the, the different pages and was putting up pictures and Jason Seville was putting up pictures and, you know, we were trying yep. to show them off and people were like, oh, hey, that's cool. I didn't know it out there. And some were like, but, you know, they're, they're, they lack a lot of detail. 
you know, uh, Aragorn doesn't have his clasp that holds his cloak on. He doesn't even have a cloak. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like it, they wanted a lot more detail. And right. what I saw was a lot of fetishing over the sideshow, 12 inch, $100 plus figures. Mm -hmm. And it was like, well, if we keep putting these out, then the fan base that wants them seems to not want them. They want better right. quality. So if it was more detail to, to make up. Yeah. To, I understand. Yeah. If you had a retailer that said, yeah, I'm, I have a big Lord of the Rings fan base. I'm a big fan. I want to see Gandalf and Frodo. Okay. Great. Then you have somebody who's willing to champion it. But if we just put them out there just to find out, hey, will people buy them? You may end up with, uh, you know, with a problem. Especially because Frodo is going to require special feet. Right. Right. Yeah, well, and, but technically, don't you... Exactly. You, I mean, being Migo, you guys technically have the feet, no? I mean, those, we sculpted those, them, but tooling them. Oh, I thought you know, because I know it's tooling. Be smaller figures, right? So feet would be too big. <laughs> you couldn't use just. I mean, you couldn't like re reuse, uh, uh, repurpose a wolf Wolfie's feet or anything like that. I mean, they'd be some big feet, but they'd be big feet, and you know, would the whole fan base would say, "Well, you just, you know." They don't look right. Yeah. He's got giant yeah. feet on a child right. body. Okay. Nice. You know, it it, it, it kind of comes down to, you know, yeah. is there enough, If like I said, yeah. if somebody, you know, somebody who is in a position to actually uh, buy it, you know, said, yes, I'll, I'll take a chance on it. I, I think there's an audience there. Right. You know? Yeah. Um, Wait a minute. Maybe it's something you guys can revisit down the line. I know that there's going to be a new, uh, I think it's Amazon well, television show coming yeah. up here. Pretty Peter soon Jackson's too. working on a hot, uh, Lord of the Rings TV show. Right. Yep. So when that hits, you may see a different audience. You may see a new fan base, a younger right. fan base, get interested that doesn't have the income for a $100 sideshow. Yeah. Yep. Um. So... They uh, what was it? it did, did didn't a mock time do like an exclusive for you, or that wasn't or I you talked about you you with, with your uh, uh didn't so mock time didn't I'm sorry not for Migo Scott huh not Migo no not Migo no uh uh Paul Paul in, in another adventure I guess I guess what I'm saying is is like with what you were just saying uh, like uh. Like Emerald Comics or something like that. How I think they did variants, variant figures okay. for other companies and stuff. I Con, mean, talking about Con. Con exclusive, right? Uh, in two thousand eight, was done with um, Hastings, okay, and Planet X in Canada. They took three thousand uh, cons from the episode Space Seed. So it wasn't Wrath of Khan. It was Khan from the TV show. Also Ricardo Montalban. Right. But they they ordered, an ex they got an exclusive. Uh, it was like we did 3,000 cons. So trust me, Khan, redoing Khan is on my list of Star Trek original series characters. Because those figures were done, what, almost 20 years? Almost uh, been a while. 10 years ago? A little over 10 wow. years ago and uh you know are ready for uh you know we could put them out again because yep. those con figures go for 50 on the secondary yeah. market so i'm really i want to i want to hold this up because I, I got frank's order today <laughs> you i didn't have a chance to, to look at them but uh or to open them up yet but that's a gorgeous figure i was just going to say for everybody out there besides the glare that i have <laughs> you know i mean i okay I, I know well, it's Jason's got nice pictures and and yeah. I know all that stuff. But did, did you ever think that uh, I ever thought I'd be holding Amigo Q? You know, no, let alone like like having anything from from the next generation of, that's of, a, of Star that's a very very nice figure, guy. I mean, you guys did a great job on that. Yeah. Then, uh, I think uh, Scott, that was Scott Fenster. When you when you go from from uh, 2D to this. You know, I mean, that's just, I mean, and, and the thing is, like, I didn't think Tootie was a bad character at all. I think she gets a lot of, oh, uh, 
you know, I, it, I mean, it's actually, it's, it, it was a good idea. I mean, it's just, it's a good idea if the show wasn't, you know, a hundred years old, but I didn't mean it like that, but you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to zoom in on that. Really? That that could be one of the best horror action figures ever made. I mean, that thing is just so cool. I mean, it's just the fact so damn cool. This is raising this, this whole this whole thing just a couple of minutes. Huh? The line raises the bar. Yep. And it seems like I'm guilty of this. It seems like you put a monster out there. I think everybody except for Kevin buys them. You know, it's just like oh, pretty much, yeah. yeah. You know, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, listen. What I what I really would love to do would be Marvel's Tomb of Dracula. Dracula. Yeah, yeah. I grew up with that comic, and it was awesome. Yep. You know, uh, and uh, you know, someday, you know, but so so doing the horror, doing the Hammer horror, yeah. was as close as I could get. You know, right, um, right. Tom, yeah, Tom. Actually, actually, a friend of ours, Tom King, suggested that. He he was like, man, Tomb of Dracula, and I was like, I kind of remember that, and then I had to go back and. And I'm like, hell yeah. And the other thing, uh, uh, I, do, I just, I just want to say this because, because I, 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 I just thought of it. Um, uh, Everett Bats, he was a good man. Uh, yesterday, he found uh, those those early release pictures, and he posted them. And I asked him very nicely. I said, hey man, we're gonna do the thing tomorrow. And he goes, oh sure, man. He goes, <laughs> he goes, I'm sorry. He goes, no problem. I told him I give him a shout out. So I just wanted to give him a shout out on that. So Joel, so, so hold on. Speaking of shout, speaking of shout outs, go ahead. Um, I, I see the Willy Wonka that I want to give a shout out to Joseph Shep, Shepard, who made a spectacular figure uh, using Gene Wilder as the Frisco Kid. Um, I oh, thought nice. it was just, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Wow, very cool. Hey, I, there's an idea see? for a future figure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, which, which, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, Gene Wilder, Young Frank. Speaking of that, I haven't. I got this one here too, which I didn't open. I got, I, man. When when I first found out about this, before I see, it, I was like, fuck, it. like no, oh, you, Bella? no, no, nobody will ever buy it. I'm like, I can't wait to get it. I can't wait to get it. <laughs> I opened mine at work. <laughs> it's a gorgeous figure. The card, the card, the card just makes it pops even more on the. The card is great. It, so, it, you know. Now that we've seen the reveal, I do have some. I do have another slideshow. Joel, I want you to take part in this. Uh, I'm going to start it, and I've got to unmute everybody. And here we go. This is going to be the DC heroes. Kevin. Yeah. Are, are you Are you ready? I'm watching. I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> All right. So there's the flash. Yeah. Uh, comments, criticisms, opinions. How about it's gorgeous? Oh, it's, that's not, it's one of the best. One of the best. I think it looks. Uh, I think it looks cool. Now listen. Yeah. This is the Wally West Flash from gotcha. Justice League Unlimited. It's oh, it is. Yes, this is not Barry Allen. Okay. Look at the belt. The belt yep. and, okay. and the and the face. This is Wally West Flash from Justice League Unlimited. Wow. So that means so that means then you have to go and do a, a uh what? Okay. Can do a hot girl. So you're gonna do another one now. Well, kind of. I mean, look at John Stewart. It's a John Stewart Green Lantern. Yeah. That ties in with Justice League Unlimited, not um, not with you know, it's not Hal Jordan. Right. Right. We did Hal Jordan's 14 inch. Yeah. So we thought it'd be great to do a John Stewart. I think it's um, really cool. I wanted to do him nice. the Justice League International look, where he's bald with a goatee. Oh, okay. But uh, but DC insists that we go with this version, with the uh, with the short cropped uh, hair. It's a good looking. Um, though. It really is. It yeah. is, and oh, and uh, there's a lot of people that like John Stewart. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Uh, you know, he's definitely a Green Lantern in his own right. And it's and he's really cool. Very so, cool. Uh, but, you know, down the road, we'll probably do another eight inch Hal Jordan and Barry Allen Flash. Nice. Very know, cool. For the old men. <laughs> hey, guys, just quickly, I said Frisco Kid. I'm at Blazing Saddles on uh, Joseph Shepard's. Oh, uh, yes. okay. 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 That, that's that head sculpt. That looks awesome, that Riddler head sculpt. I mean, that, that's. Yeah, see? Instead of. I mean, so cool. 
we couldn't do the Riddler outfit with the, you know, with a jacket and pants and, you know. Okay. Um, but this, to, this really is the Riddler from Silver Age. You know, is. this is the Riddler and, and, you know, but he always had a really odd head sculpt. You know, Migo's version was, I don't know what. I don't know. Uh, right. But I you know, want to do a new head sculpt, so give some reason. And instead of using the Batman belt in purple, we use the Robin belt in purple, which fit gotcha. the character better. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. You know what? I know it, I never, it never even dawned on me until you just, even though I've, you know, I've had it. See? Yeah, you don't even notice. You don't even know. How about Robin, um, Paul? What? You owe us a Robin. You owe us <laughs> the Bell days. <laughs> do I? All right, on that note, I'm cutting out, guys. I've got to go. Okay. All right, All right Joel. Well, hold on. Good night, Joel. Good night, Good night, night Joel. Night. Thank Good you. Night. Did he leave already? Okay. Let me bring Jay. Since he's been. Sick. I'm going to drop off here in a few minutes too, Scott. So if you got anybody else, I. I well, I'm going to bring Jason in so he could. Uh, uh... Hey, Jason. Hey. We didn't have anybody else to fill the spot in, so we had to bring something up. Now everybody left. I will fill the hole. There you go. Yeah, we're tired. Okay, Let's you go ahead, though. You know. Yeah. yeah, right. Stop show. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you, Jason. Yes, sir. I got I, I got to get you some music. Why? Uh, I, I just, I got music. I had a guy actually record it. Um. I, I kept meaning to do something with it, but I never did. So I will get it to you tonight. It's an MP3 file. You'll know as soon as you get it what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Very uh, cool. I'll be looking uh, forward to this, sir. Before you go run it, before you go putting up those um, those world's greatest uh, Amigo heroes, you might want to change the background music. <laughs> there you go. Or not. It's up to you. Did you, but, Paul? Did you see the? Did you see the clips? Yeah. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah, you did. Okay. Yeah, I, I saw the the videos he did. Okay. Yeah, uh, they were great. Edited in just a couple hours today, kind of the last minute uh, thing. You know, if you could, if you could get the voice down of the guy who did, it's the world's greatest superhero collection. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Featuring. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, that's there's a voice to that guy. That's yeah. Just, yeah. You know. That would be awesome. You know. Right. Yep. Yep. Way back in. Jeez, 2004. I actually got a guy to re redo that music. Oh wow! I showed the video commercials and said, and he's a musician, and he was like, "I'm like, could you do this?" And he goes, "Oh yeah, I could do this." Oh, we got to use an MP3. We got to use this. Uh, oh yeah. And for, for 20 years, I've been meaning to do something with it, and never get a chance. So. You might as well lay that down if, if it works. I if will be works, looking forward to this call. But you know, you you I can trust with this file. <laughs> there you go. Yep, yep, yep. For I'm sure. very honored, sir. I'm very honored. Yeah. I mean the very scary cool. thing is I listen to it in the car. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like on my computer all the time. Marty and I were at the Vegas show and uh somebody was talking about man, I love the action Jackson theme. And if I'm on my phone. I have the, the Action Jackson theme. Oh you know, so playing that and the World Scary Superheroes. And Marty's like, right. you really listen to that? I go, yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I really want a copy of that. I swear to God. I know you do. A lot of people do. <laughs> You're not getting it. <laughs> I signed an NDA, so I'm sorry, Scott. That's yeah, right. Yeah. Well, yeah, right. See, see how Carver got you? Uh, there you go. If they, if, you know, um anyway all right anyhow that's that's what i want all to right say. Gentlemen, i'm bowing out for oh. the evening all right pray. Yeah. thank you guys yeah, for everything great i'll all see right. you guys soon Hello, Joe, always a pleasure good night yes, sir thank you i'll yep. talk to you Frank. Just, yep, thanks guys good night <laughs> uh, well now he's gone what a jerk yeah right <laughs> <laughs> no, y'all are some of the really coolest guys in town. I'm happy to be here. All right, don't be All a right. suck up. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, don't be a suck up. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, Why not? It gets me nowhere. So if I get nothing in return, hey, it's all from the heart, baby. It's from the heart. You know what? Let me just call out before we go. Everyone who did win tonight, message me your address so I can pass it along and we can get you your prizes. Right. And on that note, the way that's going to work is uh, that it'll actually, uh, Kevin's got to say. The way it's going to work is I'm going to pick them up from Marty on Monday and I'll mail them out. Oh, really? Okay, because Joe was going to send them. Okay. Because they're all sitting at his at his house. Right. Well, I thought, well, Joe so, sent them to Frank, every, blah, 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 but that'll even be easier. Okay, whatever. whatever. Well, no, 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 that'll be easier. The point is, they're all Dr. Migo customers. I already have them in my. Oh, in my, oh you uh, got the address? Okay. Ship. Oh, cool. All right. I already have, have all six of them? All six? I'm sorry? All six of them? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. All right. Jason cool. Custard, Lewis, Stephen Dodd. Um, the other guy, uh, I forget uh, who the other uh, two were. Ledbetter. Uh, Timothy Carter and Goodwin? Carter, yeah. Yeah. And okay. So, anyway. Um, but uh, Anyone I'm else sure notice that he just casually says, oh, I'll stop off at Marty's. It's like you're saying, I'm going to stop at De Niro's on the way. Bobby and I have to see each other. I got uh, you know, uh, you know, you know, who do, who do you think cuts, who do you think shovels the snow? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So, um, I would pay to do that. I would pay to do that. I, I seriously, um, one of the reasons why, uh, you know, they involve me is I do live 20 minutes away. You know, if I was in Nebraska, I don't think I, you know, I don't think they'd, they'd talk to me, you know. Oh, Paul, don't sell yourself short. So, Paul, you, listen, man, you've had a busy year. You've had a uh, busy year. I serve at the, I serve at the, uh, at the King's Command. We, uh, <laughs> I mean, how many, what's, what's the total figures now? A lot. What's the total? A lot. I'm trying to I'm trying to trick him so he, so he gives me a number I'm like that doesn't add up. I'm not giving you any, listen. I can't give you what's not in my head. Huh? I just keep going. All right. Whatever they tell me, and and I you think I'd be obsessive compulsive enough to actually keep track of that stuff? It's it's oh yeah. But I find I just can't. I can't focus on that. On I mean, if I had to, I'd sit and come up with a number. I want. I mean, what do you think it is, Kevin? Oh, geez, it's well. I think it's well over a hundred. Oh, the mm-hmm. was sixty when they were just the first three waves. So yeah, we're sixty for yes. the first three waves. Yeah, yeah. we're already. Uh, well, eight through twelve has got to be what sixty to sixty-five figures right there alone. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think we're over one fifty though. I don't think it's over one fifty. No, it isn't. <laughs> Well, all I know is in the last 12 months, I've taken probably about eight, 9,000 pictures of Mego figures. So I'm still going to stay with my It's a lot of figures. Yes. Amazing what you guys did secrets. during COVID. Yeah, some of those are absolutely secret that you can never talk about. He's going to have to get a heart. <laughs> <laughs> no, we weren't going to talk about those ones. No, no, no. I know this might be an unpopular opinion, but we need to start spacing the waves and shortening the list. No, no, no! I love the tsunami, Kevin. Uh, you know, you want to tell Marty that? You go ahead. Yeah, no, I know. Look, I if, know. look, if if he's if he's if he's buying, we're flying. So if he's making them, we're we're exactly. we're, we're taking exactly. them. Well, I imagine if they keep bringing on retailers and doing you know these ideas of little exclusives by changing a boot color or a gun color. I mean, honestly, the sky's the limit with this company at this point with all the licenses they have. I think, I think, I think the next, the next thing, the, the, I don't know, Paul, if you would agree with me or not, but I think the next, uh, uh, the next possible step up or step onto another platform would be uh, able to do figures that that are a little bit more complicated as far as accessories or as far as. Uh, uh, you know, parts like I got, I got Cassandra, who's a very loyal, you know, Mego person, you know, a lot of people uh, with the Lucutus, which I love. I mean, I'm sorry. That bit, that's okay. just, I, I totally understand. I, I told you. I understand. I said before about Lucutus. This is the first version. This is 
best of both worlds, the end of part one, when he's basically wearing a sweater. Okay? Right. I did, did not really fully Borg him up. There will be a second Locutus that will be more expensive, that will have right. more, will right. have the uh, spinner hand, you know, will that, have all the bling on him. So that's what I was This getting. was, you can't do the best one and then do the first one. No, absolutely not. So, right. So that, so that's what I'm getting at. So then at that point now, uh, as long as we can, you know, help you guys out with that, with that, you know, that fan base market, it'd be time to tap the Lord of the Rings again. If you fine, can, fine. You know, Go out to Lord of the Rings and find it. Well, I'm just saying it, for an example. They, 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 they were Paul very, was you know, putting, though. There was a lot of resistance from people yeah. who thought it was legitimate yeah. to compare a $200 Weta sculpture with a $15 toy. And that made sense in their mind to compare that. Jason was on those pages with me. And he's showing these beautiful pictures. Mm -hmm. And they're just kind of like, but it's not perfect. Aragorn doesn't like have the class. Toy I want to go play in the dirt with. Yeah, yeah. They they just the and and that's the fan base. And it's like you have to realize that until you can market them, like I said, if you got a retailer like in the UK or Europe who said, "Hey, we never had the toy biz figures. I can sell these." There's a lot of people in Australia who want this or New Zealand. You know, we we can sell these in the uh, in the gift shop of Jack of Peter Jackson's uh, Hobbit Village, you know that's great. But, well, I noticed uh, it know. was an age thing too, where the people who the toy biz was their first, you know, experience with Lord right. of the Rings figures. And then, like, it's like the people my age who grew up with the old Basky animated cartoons. It's like Mego was the perfect fit. It's like in our heads, it's like, oh wow, they'd have gone with the Bakshi version. It's like I think these would have sold pretty well. But I don't know but, if the, the Bocce version was even available. You know, no, I don't believe they did do figures, did they? At when the time? we do, when we look into licensing, even with you know, you get into like Universal, you think, oh, they've got everything. You'd be surprised; they actually don't. They actually have a lot of caveats about we well, can do this, but you can't do that. Like Bride of Frankenstein, we could not make it look like Elsa Man uh, Lancaster. It had to be stylized. So we gave her a green face. I mean, I Plus, did. Plus, the very crisp paint application, I was very struck by just how intense her face was. I mean, it's a really right. good figure. You know, as I looked at, at pictures of cosplayers doing Bride of Frankenstein, a lot opted for a green face. Which, apparently, that was the makeup then. Like, the reason why we think Karloff you know, Frankenstein should have a green face is because colored pictures have emerged yeah. of him and he was in a green he had a green face. Who did? So yeah. apparently that was a thing back then for makeup. In order for you to look healthy, you had to have green makeup <laughs> for the light to catch it right. Otherwise you looked all washed out. So, you know, we to me, Frankenstein should be pale. He should be almost bluish. As dead skin. Well, he's got a very but, earwax color, I've noticed on this figure. I was really in love with how you guys painted the one that's coming out. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in the minority opinion on this, right? No, no, no. I it's, it's, it was just, perfect because it, it just had this decayed in COVID, in COVID, you send something over there and you hold your breath and wonder what's going to come out the other end. Oops. And it's like, that even our reps can't get to the factory. So everything is a JPEG in bad lighting. And they go, yeah. are we good? Are we good? <laughs> like, I don't know. And with and, lighting, and yet, you can it, have such a wide color. range of what that color actually is. It's like, how do you really know until that's in your hand? Well, there you go. Um, it's, you know, it, it's, I'll, it'll be a lot easier when COVID's over because, uh, you know, normally Joel would be at the factory during the production days and be pulling stuff off the line and going, no, this is not good. Fix it. You know, no, don't, you know, like we basically have to get a lot tighter about controls when normally when you've dealt with a factory for several years, they know you get a rhythm. 
you know, you get to know. But I the problem with a lot of the stuff is they go, well, we don't know. You did data and he had pale white skin. Were we supposed to give him flesh color? You know, like, like it's it's like you really have to be on every detail. So, anyhow, well, it's still amazing what you accomplished with this handicap for this entire year. Because some of the figures between eight and twelve, I, I'm just gobsmacked. I mean, honestly, just every cultural touchstone in my life has seen a representation in the last four weeks. Well, good. <laughs> right. uh, you know, that's that's what you hope for. You know, you hope to get, you know, what you hope it comes out right there on the other end. You know, um, Willy well, for Wonka, a $15 product, $20 product, you guys are hitting home run left and right. Yeah. You know, Willy Wonka could have been a huge. Oh, yeah. Who cares? <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I mean, I like it, you know. It's I thought cool Lord of the Rings was a great license. And I was looking forward to doing Gandalf and Frodo. And, you know, we, we're moving ahead. And then we'll look at the sales data and it's like, no, there's just not moving. So, you know. Oh, wow. Do you keep, do you keep drilling on a spot that hasn't come up with oil? You know, how long do you drill? You know. Uh, as Joel said, yeah, we have the license. So, you know. Well, if, the retailer uh, comes up with an interest for it down the road. Hey, there's hope. Yep. Maybe it, maybe it does have to be just put it out. Mm -hmm. We can make it a higher price, put more detail in it, and still find an apathetic audience. No. That's funny. I was looking over. We had looking over some comments. We apparently we had a couple of spammers in there. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't see that earlier. So I had oh, I <laughs> one guy, one guy wants to know if you were going to uh, uh, Toylanta, I think, Paul. I, I'm pretty sure. I'm not going anywhere. No, because he nobody's going any place until until uh, you know, COVID is 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 uh, under control. Oh yeah. I don't know. Have we actually gotten a date for Migo Meet? No, not yet. No, actually. So. You know, I mean, didn't it's it's mid February. We really had. I mean, you need to know whether or not you're going to go or no go. Didn't Steve say uh, he was? Uh, maybe there was a, a venue thing that he was looking at, Kevin. It was. Yeah, I was looking at another venue. Uh, they did. I know they just recently did a toy Ohio, and someone went went live, and the place was packed. They were all wearing masks. Um, they, uh, the tables weren't social distance. Like, uh, I heard some of the other venues was so, I mean, they, they, they pretty, they had a pretty good setup. They had a pretty good setup. It was crowded and it was working and everybody seemed to be following, um, all the PPE rules. So, I mean, that's why, I mean, Toy, Toy Ohio was in Ohio. So, mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's a plus for Migo Meat. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just I'm going back into looking at uh, some of these comments. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. So uh, just to and give a quick shout out to uh, people that are what we I guess what I consider anybody uh, anyway reputable Migo dealers besides obviously the the uh targets and the walmarts and stuff like that we've got uh frank wojo absolutely retro we've got uh uh zlt zolo's room we got uh joey scarf zolo's room's another good one collect them all we've got uh mike kales mike's dead format community we've got uh Rick Grillo. um we have kevin did i miss somebody did i miss uh yeah, I, I, think, uh, I think there was one in my neck of the woods, uh, Christie's oh, Toys and got, Treasures, I think. A Muck Time Entertainment Earth. We've got uh, uh, ZLC. Yeah, I said ZLC. I was just I mean, normally when, when, when Joel Joel's kind of keen on doing these things, so uh, uh, Joel released a list on on uh, UK for all the UK. Yeah, uh, right. So we're, we're gonna we'll have that stuff together for future things. 
Paul, I'm going to tell you something right now. You guys might think I'm, I'm, I'm messing with you. I'm talking about guys on that are watching right now on Facebook. Paul is Paul's just another version of Marty. He's got a hundred thousand stories <laughs> of, of things that are, you know, normally pretty fascinating. So, and he tells them and he tells them well, so he's, he's, he's a good guy to, uh, this nobody, nobody's like Marty. Nobody's like Marty. No, but you, you Marty's kind of, amazing. You know, well, I, mean, I totally agree. Uh, but like, I mean, ask Marty, Marty, Marty will point to Paul says he knows more about me. <laughs> yeah. That's how he introduces me to people. This guy remembers more of my life than I do. And that's <laughs> I'm like, okay. That's, that's, see, that's how he does. He it. can tell me what I did on a Thursday in 1974 and what I had for lunch. I'm like, obviously not, but it's a great story, you know? You have, uh, Paul, you do have someone out there. I think, uh, uh, she's trying to get your attention, say hello to you. Uh, she's a, uh, she's a, a, a newer ambassador member and I'm going to try, well, try not to embarrass, embarrass myself by pronouncing her name. Shwanda. Uh, Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. So yes. she's going to yes. say hi. I, get to, I'll, I'll, I got, owe her an email. Yeah. I'll say again. Yep. Okay. I owe her an email. Oh, did you hear that? He owes you an email. He's, he's, I told you, he's got you, you know, with a big thumbs up. She's, she's in Texas and has had kind of like more rolling power outages. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We so have I'm not, I'm not ignoring her. I'm just, you know, I'm understanding if she's, if she, you know, I said, let me know when you're all good. Okay. You know, uh, I have a lot of sympathy for anybody who, has lost power because suddenly you're the 19th century. All of a sudden you're lighting, you're walking around with candles and you're trying to, uh, you know, stay warm. Yeah, exactly. I mean, a blackout's fun in the summer, in the winter, it's scary. Look who it is. Art. <laughs> Art, Art just stepped in to say hello. <laughs> All right. Art, you missed all the good stuff, man. It's, it's just the boring part of it now yes. all right you you tap it are we are we, are we done yeah, it's time yeah. to go. We're, we're gonna we're okay. gonna tap out guys otherwise i gotta go pick a pp break you everyone's know. going <laughs> nighty night well i am gonna i just just for the hell of it because these these are jason did such a good job on these i'm gonna let these play us out and of course we gotta you do that we got our outro but I, I i gotta play these again here's jason's star trek yes commercial kevin stick around uh, Paul, if, if we don't see you again tonight. All right. Uh, good night. You've been great. Paul, have a good night. It was very good seeing you. All good right. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Here we go with Jason. When the world is threatened, it is a call for hero. Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, fighting crime and defeating the villain. Like the Riddler who has snuck into the Hall of Justice to commit his misdeeds. While our heroes are away, Riddler has come to play. Justice League unite. Here's the flash and a dash. And Green Lantern summons his power. DC's world's greatest Mego heroes. Riddler, the Flash, Green Lantern coming soon where they join the larger DC Universe of Action Figures by Mego. Join the adventure with Star Trek Mego Action Figures. Captain! Scotty is exploring on a strange new world, unaware that an enemy alien is stalking him. My name is McCoy. I'm a doctor. Dr. McCoy is on board the USS Enterprise, his tricorder having picked up strange new life forms. From out of the shadows, danger lurks. It's Scotty transporting to the rescue. Classic Star Trek characters, Dr. McCoy, the Salt Vampire, and Scotty available soon. Joining the larger Star Trek universe of action figures by Mego. All right. Those those are just so awesome. 
Those are just so awesome. Oh, they're great. But Jason, you did you did a great job. Next time though, like I said, when we won't have a time crunch, I want to get my voice in there and stuff like that. I can I I, I can uh, I'll give you that Mego voice. But uh, we got it done. You did really well. Uh, everybody that's watched us, I really liked. I wish you guys could. I'm gonna try to turn my camera for the people that have been watching, so you could see. So this is part of the program, and when you guys click that extra link, this is what it did. So all tonight, if you were logged in, I could see it just like if I could on Facebook. So I really appreciate everybody that did that. Uh, and like I said, man, Joel, Joel really, he's he's really getting into this stuff. So uh, he wants to do these, you know, uh, where we have, you know, where we're not, well, how about this? Where we're not lacking on, on any news or updates and stuff like that. And I think, uh, I think Marty, uh, is uh i think he i think he got a little bit of the that that little bite that you get you know like oh this is kind of fun so i think we're looking for we're gonna we're gonna have some good uh camaraderie of brewing here with that let's play us out uh guys hang out uh till after the outro when we go off i got i got a couple words and everybody uh that's been watching oh i also i think i'm gonna do some uh not tonight, not right now. Uh, well, I mean, it's late, but I got all the figures from Frank today, and I wanted to take them, check them out. And, uh, hey, Chuck, I, I owe you a phone call, man, because uh, I don't know if Migo Meet's going to happen, but I know where I'm at with you, if you know what I mean. So I haven't forgotten about you, but I, I figured we'd have some, you know, some interaction before now. But I'll make sure that uh, I'll send you a message because I do have a different phone. Let me play the outro, guys. Hang around. I will be back after this. this is how we came into it <laughs>